In today's resin art video, I'm going to show you how to make this 12 inch round right here. I'll go over the product placement and everything here in just a minute. But right now, I'll kind of be quiet and you can hear these birds chirp, kind of peaceful. All right, stay tuned guys, uh, we'll get going on the video. Okay, so you just saw that round that I made and everything outside and the outside light. That thing's freaking spectacular. Looks like a good old glass coat on her. She's nice. <laughs> All right, but what we're gonna do today, um, I'll go over the kind of the product placement and everything like that that I used in it, and then we'll get going on the video and how we made it. So I tried KS resin today. Uh, stuff worked really good. I was real happy with it. You know, uh, I liked it. It worked really good. Um, nice glass coat finish on there. She's, she's a good looking painting, I'll tell you that. Uh, and the products that we use in it today, when the video starts, you'll see it. I used a Rust-Oleum oil-based enamel paint. Uh, the part number on this is 7792. I'll put it in the links in the description also. Uh, when you mix this stuff up to get the cell formation, stuff like that, I would say about 10% or less ratio mixed in with your resin. Uh, this was actually about 5%. But when you mix it, check your popsicle stick and look at it and see if you can see, you know, the wood grain in your popsicle stick or if you can't. If you can't, you've mixed it strong enough to where it's just the white. But don't overdo it. If you overdo it, it kind of fades the cells out immediately. Okay. Um, other than that, let's go over the uh, art tree stuff that I use in it today. Uh, epoxy resin pigment gel dark plum is what I used. Uh, I also used some cobalt blue from Art Tree Creations. And I also used the amethyst from Art Tree Creations. Uh, the other white that I put down in there on top, you'll see it, I do use two whites. The first one on the board I put down and that's the only time that I use a Rust-Oleum paint. Uh, the next white that you'll see in it when I start blending everything and stretching out the cells when I tilt it uh, is the Iceland white right here from Art Tree Creations. So, okay, well, I told you all the products, everything like that, that I used in here. It's just a little 12 inch round. Came out real good looking, guys. Um, but yeah, we'll start this video and you can watch and see. And uh, if you like this, you like what I'm saying, uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll do some voiceover stuff in here. So, all right. Bye bye. Talk to y'all later. Okay, so right here, the video starts with the. Rust-Oleum Epoxy Enamel Base Coat. I just rub it in right here. Um, go kind of fast in this little part where I'm doing this. And then I'll start to put this color down and then I'll blend it with the hair dryer and you can just kind of watch from there. And I'll pop in with these voiceovers uh, when something important happens. But it's just kind of having fun and blending and seeing what I can come up with. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so right here in the video is where I start to use the art tree white. So this is the other white I was talking about.
Okay, so right here in the video, I just start using my heat gun to blend the colors together. Uh, almost instantly get some cells with this Art Tree Creation white right here. And just kind of blending stuff till I get it where I like it at. And that's kind of how this is going to go for a little bit longer. Um, then I'll do a tilt and you guys will see a whole bunch of cells up there in the purple. Okay, stay tuned. Okay guys, so this video's pretty much over from here on out. Uh, I just kind of let it set up a little bit, let those cells do their trick right there and just kind of wait on it. And then I come back in and I pop bubbles probably for the next half hour, 45 minutes and scrape the bottom so I don't have any buildup. And that's it. All right, well, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you for watching. I'll put some stills in here at the end and then there'll be a little video of inside light. I guess while I'm talking right now, I could recommend some channels to you for you to watch. Uh, please check out my friend Happy Owl's channel. I'll put her link in the description below. Also check out my friend Cherie Cruz. She makes some pretty good stuff and she's got her own pigments. Uh, also, I'll put the link to Art Tree Creations page down here. Uh, Tamara down there, she's a pretty awesome lady. I talked to her on the phone the other night for a long time. She's a nice woman. I like her. She's cool. And also, uh, Monica Barnes, she's pretty cool too, so she makes some good videos. Uh, looks like she just got 10,000 subscribers. 
She's doing freaking awesome over there. So if you guys like me, check her out. And yeah, I guess this is the end of the video. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you liked it and talk to y'all later. Oh yeah, if you want me to do a giveaway, let me know something you'd like me to do for a giveaway to help this channel grow. I like to show you all what I do and what I can create and try to help out as many artists as I can. Okay, all right. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>